Hello. How can we prepare our children to a world that we don't know? As we said in video one, parents now, apart from being bombarded with how to, how to raise happy children, how to raise successful children, how to get a better school for your child, how to make your child resilient, and more and more, and it's only natural, so it's only natural that parents feel powerless. We now live in a world that is so not familiar to any of us. But parenting continues and we still bring children to the world and we still want to give children the tools to live their life, to live their future. They don't need help in growing up. Life force make, makes them grow up. Yes, they need to be fed, they need to be clothed, and mainly to be loved. But they grow. The main thing that parents are concerned now is how am I going to prepare my child to a world that I don't know how will it be. None of us really know. Our parents did not know the world that they were actually bringing us for. And also our grandparents did not know. But the acceleration in the changes was not as fast as it's now. Now it's beyond anything that we know. So what am I going to do, the parent thinks? How am I going to prepare my child for the future? for an unknown future. Am I going to pretend that I know? Because that my child looks up to me. Am I going to teach my child the things that belong to a world of the past, pretending that that's what the child needs to know? There are things I will touch in our coming course, our coming parent course. There are tools that we can prepare our children for an unknown future. If, for instance, if we help a child develop concentration in a natural way, are we going to help the child face an unknown future? If I'm going to help my child, to guide my child, develop sensitivity, sensitivity to beauty, to nature, to books, to life. Will it help my child in the next world? If I'm going to help my child develop listening skill, is it going to help the child? Is it going to help the child if the child is going to be able to listen to nature, to music, to birds? to the trees. Is it going to help the child? If the child can listen to other people, if a child can listen to their own heart, is this going to help my child? If I'm going to help my child to develop perseverance, if my child is going to learn that not everything can be won by pressing the button, is this going to help my child? And you might ask, is my child going to be happy by working hard, by persevering? Won't my child be happier by pressing a button and getting what they want? We know it's not working like this. So concentration, perseverance, the ability to listen, sensitivity to beauty, that just a few points that if we guide our children to own, they're going to feel that they're more ready for a prepared world. And even when we don't know how this world is going to look like, we know that we've given them some gifts. How to do all of this, we will cover in the coming course. The registration is now open and uh, 
early bird is going to be until the 9th of July. The course is going to start on 16th of July. And I'm inviting you to enroll and to explore together with other parents the ways and the tools we can give our children to live their life in a future which is unknown for us. We'll meet in the next video.